Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. And the band played on. You might be able to hear the guitar player off at the distance here. It's that time of day here at uh, Dell EMC World 2017 along with John Furrier. I'm John Walls. Glad to have you here on theCUBE. We are officially, John and I now, Notoramas. We, <laughs> we have joined you got hear. the Blue Button Cup. We'll, we'll explain that in just a little bit, tell you what it's all about. Here with me to do that is Armagan Ahmad, who is the uh, SVP of Blueprint Solutions and Alliances at Dell EMC. We just had him on just yeah. a minute ago on theCUBE. And uh, Brian Payne, who is the VP of Product Management in the server division at uh, Dell EMC. Brian, thank you for being with us. Good Absolutely. to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, so first off, let's talk 14G. Big server news you guys make. I'm sure this, that's really had a lot of your attention this week. A lot of people want to know, Brian, what's up, right? What, it would, tell me about the excitement that yeah, you generated with that announcement. Absolutely, it, it's generated a, a ton of excitement, and it's not just been this week. There's been a lot of buildup for you know, driving a new generation of servers into the market. You know, we start with what our customers are telling us that they're interested in, and with this generation, we focused on the typical things you would expect, like how can we run workloads more effectively than, than we, you know, than the current generation of technology. However, as we look into the landscape, as people drive digital transformation, the workloads are changing, right? There are a lot of new workloads, there's a lot of new technology that our customers need to sort out and figure out, where do I apply where in order to run things more effectively? And so we're focused on that in terms of delivering portfolio breadth so that our customers will have the capability when they need it to run their applications well. So that's one thing that is uh, you know, exciting and new. But aside from that, which is you know, running our customers' applications, we're also focused on how can we make our customers more agile and effective through the automation tools that we've designed into this generation of servers. And then lastly, security has been a big focus. And it's not bolted on security, it's integrated security built into the server throughout the supply chain and throughout the life cycle of the, of the server. Those are the big things that have resonated with our customers as we've announced the next generation of servers. I was kind of kidding off the top there, talking about the Notorama buttons, both of you are wearing yours. So tell us, so what is that all about? What, what's Notorama going on there? So, so you know, uh, Janet Morse actually in our uh, product marketing group came up with Notorama because uh, as we were getting ready to launch uh, 14G awesome servers, our PowerEdge uh, 14 generation, uh, we wanted to uh, be ready uh, for um, vSAN ready nodes. Um, if customers really want to take storage and uh, take that software-defined storage and, and ensuring you know, when you take software-defined storage, you want to really run it on a server platform to drive the next generation of IT transformation and digital transformation eventually. Uh, but we also wanted to do the same thing with Microsoft Spaces Direct. We also wanted to do the same thing with our scale I.O., uh, you know, software-defined scale-out uh, storage capability. But then not just stop there, we also have SAP HANA ready node, which is our SAP HANA for uh, uh, commercial and mid-sized customers. So that's where Notorama really came in, where we've got a lot of nodes. So right now we're the uh, we're launching our Microsoft Spaces Direct ready node um, that, that got launched on Monday. So we're totally excited. We, we have the most ready nodes in the industry right now. So we were talking in our intro this morning on our other set, David Floyer, analyst at Wikibon, and um, Keith Towns, another uh, analyst. We were kind of looking at this, the, the announcement here. The big takeaways were really, really strong hyper-converged HCI message, seeing that across the board. VMware as the glue layer yep. between all this, and then finally, reality of hybrid clouds. So we were just talking about kind of the ready systems. How does uh, th this, this all work? Because now, those are three nice areas developing. How does Notorama fit into that? So they just, how does a customer, how should they think about ready nodes and context to that scene? Well, so I, you know, one thing that, that I, you know, mentioned a moment ago is just this idea of complexity that customers are dealing with. We still have, you know, through our ready systems, we're able to offer simplicity for customers that want to buy a full system level solution, but not everyone is in for a variety of reasons is, is ready to do that. However, they're left with saying, okay, I can buy servers from Dell PowerEd servers and go run my workload, but what do I pick? I mean, I want to move to a software-defined storage or I want to run something like SAP HANA 
can somebody simplify that process for me? And that's where ReadyNotes come in. It really streamlines the selection of technology where we've done the testing, we've done the validation to figure out what's going to run well, and then we can point customers in that direction. And then we can also streamline the services, the service offering around that. So it's really about making it simpler for our customers throughout the life cycle of picking the technology and then deploying. What about managing. operational support? Uh, efficiency, ease of use there, what's your position on that? So, I, I mean, absolutely, operational support is streamlined in that if you have an issue with a, a ready node and you call up Dell services, they're going to immediately recognize what you have and be able to, you know, get you back up and running and, and, and working more effectively, yeah. you know, more quickly. So. So, so where's the nexus here? Alliances and, and then what you're doing here. Where, where's that, how's that coming Yeah, so, so I lead our solutions business unit uh, that is powered by our technology alliance partners, so VMware, vSend ready node, Microsoft, Space and Direct ready node, uh, Scale.io happens to be our own IP, so that's a ready node, and then SAP. So those are the alliance partnerships, and then um, what, what my group does is we work very closely with Brian Payne and Ashley Gurk for a while, who's a GM for our server division, and, and Ravi Pendakanti. That server division, it's, it's all about the server, right? right in the center of it, so if you are going to drive a software-defined data center, you have to get a server right in the middle and ensure that server is not only scalable, it's in intelligent, but it's also secured. So what we do is we actually take that uh, server that's ready from their side, um, and they certify it. We then take that in my group, we validate it, we make sure that the firmware that needs to be changed, the BIOS that needs to be changed, the service capability, the sales enablement that we have to put out there, so it becomes a ready node, right? So tell you about the old days, I mean, yeah. just, I mean I'm just kind of just going, wow, how, that sounds really easy, but it's not. They're, in essence, have to build a server that's going to be ready yeah. for whatever composed solution you yeah. put together, whether it's VMware, Azure, whatever, yeah. they have to then make that enablement happen. Yeah. So in the old days, what was it like? What's the, what was, compare and contrast what it was in the old days. Go to the server guys and say, I need a, this server to support this, this, and this, and then they go do it. Yeah. And months later, I mean, take us through, what's, why is this different for the customer? Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, it actually, it starts very early in the process as we look at the technology landscape, yeah. working with Armagon's team to figure out what, what technologies are going to change and transform yeah. the efficiency of how we run applications. So it starts with defining the servers arm in arm with the team that's responsible for delivering those applications, figuring out what's going to work, develop it, and then bring it to market. And then it's really about streamlining that, that selection process for our customers. How can we make it easy for them to pick the right things yeah. and then quickly procure that and deploy that in their environment and start getting the business results that they're that So they're time after. to market for the solution is optimized in that scenario. Oh yeah. I, you call in for the server, 14G, yeah. You have it all, it's all prepared, ready yeah. for you to go. So, so John, in the past, right, so let's go back a few years, right, uh, our 13G servers at that time, or any other servers in the industry, were really developed for multi-workloads. They weren't developed for specific workloads. What we have now done at Dell EMC, and this is the synergy that Marius was talking about earlier that you were mentioning, which is we take our, our server groups, so and we work hand in hand in our server group right up front. So as 14G, our 14th generation of PowerEdge servers were being designed, Brian Payne and I and our teams work very closely together to say, okay, what are the top workload orientations that we want to go after? So, you know, software-defined storage, definitely top priority. Now, yeah. who should we be working with? VMware, vSAN, of course, right? Yeah. Uh, Microsoft, Hyper-V, Spaces Direct, uh, our scale I.O. business, because we know a lot of the customers want to do that. But then, in addition to that, we said, okay, ready nodes is good, that's, that's fantastic, but we know customers go from build to buy continuum. So there'll be customers who would want SAP workload orientation, they would want Oracle workload orientation, they want SQL workload yeah. orientation. But then that, those are your still traditional apps. But now you're moving into the next generation apps of machine learning, AI, which is starting with Hadoop clusters and analytics clusters. So our, our partnership between server product group and our solutions product group, I mean, I, my product group does not exist without server product group, right? So we have to ensure, and by the way, same thing goes for storage product group, our data protection product group, and our networking product group, as well as our CI and ACI product group. What we do is we essentially uh, work right up front and make sure that that workload orientation is thought through right, right in the beginning. What's the customer reaction? 
you want, you want to take that? Yeah, sure. Well, I, I was just going to add one piece, and I'll address that. Uh, conversely, the server isn't going to do anything without the application running on top of it. Yeah. So that's where you know we go hand in glove here. Customers are very pleased with it. I mean, the adoption rates have been very strong of you know what's been in the market, and then as we're bringing a breath of fresh air with the next generation technology, customers are very eager to begin adopting. What's the reaction to this announcement? Because the 14G had the fanfare yesterday when it was talked about. Yeah. Yep. But what is the reaction to the 14G and the ready server knows now? You know, uh, I'll give you an example, first of all, on our on our revenue growth. So we actually picked some major workloads, so we send ready node. Uh, we announced that about six months ago, uh, and our Visa and ready node business is through the roof right now on 13G. 14G launches as soon as the summer, Ashley Gurkhawala mentioned on stage, sometime <laughs> this summer. As soon as that launches, we will be ready with 14G. But right now, we have ready nodes already in the market Got it. on our 13 generation platforms. And as soon as we started launching these solutions, we're, we're finding that our customers, but more importantly, our channel partners as well, because yeah. they find that it's much easier, John, for them to deploy that. Uh, we're also seeing that same 13G to now 14G migration related to high performance computing. A lot of customers you know, are, are taking that on and uh, and the growth has been really, really fabulous. Yeah, I, I think if you rewind the clock before ReadyNodes and say what was the, what was the world like, yeah. we had customers that were deploying and trying to deploy things like vSAN or other software to find storage and they were running into problems and you know, us VMware were trying to help customers navigate that but what we found was there were dependencies in that stack and the underlying infrastructure and so ReadyNodes really came out of that, how can we improve that customer experience and make sure that yeah. what we deliver is going to be trusted and, and reliable. And shipping around the summer, which is right around the corner, so. That is, 14G is going to, uh, is going to ship right at the same time, so our, our ready nodes for vSAN ready node and Microsoft Spaces Direct ready node and ScaleIO ready node will ship at the exact same time 14G uh, power edge service ship, right? But keep in mind, we're already selling all of the uh, 13G based platforms for ready nodes, ready bundles, and ready systems. I tell you, just knowing the channel partners, they're going to love this. Oh yeah. Because yeah. it's so peaked, there's not a lot of training involved, yeah. and they can pick up the training and services right out of the gate. Targeted workloads, yeah. good engagement with the customers, yeah. makes a lot of sense. Uh, hangs together in my mind, congratulations. Thank you. Thank All you. right, so right. Nodorama, this, this is, is the it. button here. It's right here. Check out the ready nodes. It just sounds great. Ready alert, fire, fire <laughs> chance, go. <laughs> Take off from the aircraft carrier. There, there's nothing like being an honorary Nodorama. So That's thank awesome. you very much All for, right. for the pleasure. Get ready Always to Rama. You guys. All right, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Uh, thank back you. Back with more, coming up here at Dell EMC World 2017, live from Las Vegas. You're watching theCUBE.